everyone, this is instructor Joy. So let me first play for you a tune. <laughs> bouncing bow happening. So we're going to talk about that one, how to play such fancy bow stroke. Thank you for tuning in and uh, thank you for your nice questions, comments, donations and booking lessons with me. So spiccato is this one that bow bounces so we call it off the string stroke. Now when it comes to spiccato um, a lot of people uh, think much more complicated in, in my opinion, but in fact, it's very, very simple. So um, I'm, I would like to give you three rules, three things that you, you want to keep in mind. First, when playing spiccato, find bouncing spot. Bouncing spot is from the bow where it bounces easily. When you see the bow that's not quite straight, but it's a little curved like this. Yeah, so that in the middle where the deepest curve, Oops, <laughs> that one. So it bounces easily, yeah? And that's the spot that it can be helpful. And when you divide the bow into four, so one, two, three, four, a quarter from the frog is another bouncing spot that bounces well, which we're gonna use. So in the middle, and that one. So those are two bouncing spots, remember that. Then now, uh, number two, two inches. Two inches meaning, so since it's off the string stroke, the bow stretch two inches away from the string and finishes two inches away from the string. So, so you want to practice that one all, all of the strings. Of course, we don't raise that high, but since um, uh, it's new to the violinist, when the when the new technique happens, you want to exaggerate so that your muscle learns how to behave, right? So later we get a little less uh, than one inch, but for now you have to exaggerate by lifting your bow two inches away from the string. So you would practice that one. Then number three, rule number three, short bows. Common mistake a lot of violinists do is after the throwing, they feel like they have to play long bow and go in. And then by the time they try to do longer bow, bow loses its control, therefore it balances unwantingly or in the wrong spot. So just imagine yourself a, a ball that's bouncing. So the part that the ball hits the floor, it's just one dot. Same physics work with this spiccato, this spring bow. So it's the, the part that touches the hair, it's very short. So try not to lengthen forcefully. Just allow the bow to come off or bounce off the string naturally. Yeah? Like that. So those are three rules when it comes to the cattle. Number one, find bouncing spot. Number two, two inches off the string. It starts two inches off the string and finishes two inches off or away from the string. Number three, short bows. Make sure you don't overly uh, try to forcefully play the, um, the, the longer uh, spiccato because there are longer spiccato but it, it may sound like a very very long but it's not uh, because we use longer surface if you want to use rather longer or mellow or slower spiccato like like this or the way we do it is not necessarily um, the length of the uh, contact to the string, but the amount of the bow hair that you're using, yeah? So let's say you want, you throw the bow by finding the bouncing spot, right? And then now you start moving your elbow this way. It's a simple movement. Here, make sure your finger joints are very nice and relaxed, and wrist as well, but make sure you, the finger joints do not initiate the movement. The movement happens just from the elbow or from the arm. Simple movement. Finger joint and the wrist just go along. And then find a bouncing spot, just throw the ball, see where it bounces easily. Then sideways. All right. So now you want to make the sound a little smoother and nicer, then what you do is you tilt the ball, meaning the hair should face us, the violinists. Yeah, like this. Do the same thing. Then get a little softer and smoother. You want a little perky, a little jumpy, then flatten the bow hair. So all hair, 
flat square on the string and it bounces even further therefore it makes a little edgier spiccato yeah so let's talk about a little slower spiccato um so slower spiccato works about quarter from the frog yeah here but here make sure you raise your wrist a bit um the way the sound is nice smooth what happens if, if we don't? When you keep the wrist same as before, even when I do two inches, it's just too ugly. It's too uh, scratchy. Because this part of the bow is just too heavy. So you have to raise your wrist by doing that, you're taking the weight off. Yeah, like that. So now let's summarize. When it comes to spiccato, Make sure you're, you find the, find the where the bouncing spot of the bow is. Yeah. Then after that, then you want to make sure you take the two inches off, start from two inches away from the string, and the finishes two inches away from the string, whether it's long or, or fast. Then number three, make sure you use short bows, not too long. Yeah, just make sure there's one spot that bounces, just like a bouncing ball here or there yeah so i hope this gives you a little idea and uh, thank you for watching please remember to subscribe and share my videos hope to see you again bye bye